Hey YouTube, it's Aiden here. Um, first, I apologize for that loud noise. It's the vent in my bathroom. So, this video is a little bit of uh, how to grow a must, how to grow uh, facial hair and acne, how to treat acne. Now, first, I'm going to say some things that guys use to grow facial hair, okay? I've heard many things. Some people say you should shave your face. If you shave your face, it oh, it kind of like rejuvenates more hair to grow, okay? One thing I've heard about this, um, it's almost like they say when if anybody here used to shave their legs, just because you shave your legs does not mean that your hair is going to grow back thicker, okay? So, some people use this. Me, I don't. Obviously, it's still in the packaging. Some of us use this, okay? This is my needle. They use this in here. This leftover tea. A little, there's like a, I don't even know if there's a drop in there. But they put it on their face, okay? Now, if you're like me and you suffer from acne at some points in your life, I have good days and I have bad days. Um, rubbing any cottonseed oil or sesame seed oil or oil in general on your face may stimulate growth, uh, hair growth on your face, which I don't know anybody who it has. You guys might, but personally, I don't know anyone who's used tea on their face and gotten hair growth. So, adding oil to your face is going to make this a shitload worse. So I suggest not adding this to your face, okay? Me, I use this. I don't think it even... I use this guy right here. Oh, he doesn't have a, a thing on him. He must have fell off. So I use this, okay? This is one of these. Now, this does not cut all the way down to the skin. So number one, it doesn't irritate my face like this may or this may, the skin on my face. This is great for me because, it, like I said, it keeps me nice and clean, but it doesn't irritate my face. So, I guess you're wondering, all right, so how do you grow a mustache? Well, the one of the thing I've heard lately, and I apologize for laughing if you're this person, but I heard some people put Rogaine on their face. I don't know if that works. Um, again, I, you know... I've never tried it. I've never contacted anyone where it works. So I'm going to base it off of, again, acne on your face. Putting anything on your face that's like oil or shampoo, anything that's moisturizer, is going to make your face break out so much worse. Um, I think I would rather see uh, no facial hair and no acne, or a little facial hair and no acne than a whole lot, so much acne it takes away from the facial hair you do have. So, again, how do you grow facial hair? You don't. Um, you take this weekly or bi-weekly or whatever your uh, prescription is, and your genes, which what you're born with, grows your facial hair. My brothers have lots of facial hair. My father has lots of facial hair. Everyone in my family is quite hairy. So I grew facial hair very quickly. Again, I still don't have all in here. Right up top, still doesn't grow. Um, it grows down here. It grows all up in here. It grows on my here and here. But right here, got a little patch and nothing. I got hair up here, oddly enough, but not right down here. So how do you grow facial hair? You wait patience. That's how you grow. I know guys who've been on tea for four months, they almost got a full, like they've got a lot of hair. I know guys on tea for two years don't have, hardly have anything right here. Okay. Um, that's just how it goes. Unfortunately, there's really no way to grow facial hair. Um, so like I said, how do you grow facial hair? Patience. That's the best way to grow facial hair. Now about acne. Like I was saying, 
The reason you get so much acne when you're on tea, um, besides the mixture of oil in your body that your body now has to get through, your pores open up. All these pores are opening up to let this facial hair grow. Hence why the more open the pore, the more crap gets in them, the more pimples you're going to get. Um, I personally have noticed that I got a lot of pimples here first. I got hair after that. I was getting pimples on my neck. Then I grew hair after that. I was getting pimples around my ear. I grew hair after that. Now I get a lot of pimples right here, right in the middle where I don't have any hair. Um, or I just have little specks of hair. So I know that with my pimples comes facial hair. So I almost, pimples aren't the worst thing. Yeah, they're not that good looking. But um, with pimples comes facial hair. That's for sure. So, how do you deal with pimples? Okay. Now, again, guys, this is all my own opinion, all right? I, I'm, I'm not a um, dermatologist. I'm not a hair grow expert. I'm just giving you what I know, okay? So, what I do for my uh, acne on my face, and I also have it on my back and a little bit on my chest. It's gotten a lot better um, on my back. Um, let me see if I can show you guys. I have acne on my back. Can you see that? A lot on my shoulders. Lots of acne on my shoulders. Um, not not that much, though. It's gotten a lot better. Okay, I have some on my chest, too. But again, it's gotten so much better, and that's because this bad boy. Panoxyl. Looks like this. Comes in a box, a blue box. You get a CVS $8.99. This thing lasts me like two months, $8.99. You use like a little bit. Um, best thing ever. Morning, night. Religious. Religion. This is your new religion. It's called panoxalism, okay? Um, for real, this seriously, this is the best thing I've ever found. I've tried so many things that I've stuck with this for over a year. And honestly, um, I'm making this video because I have acne this week. I have acne here this week, a little piece right here, and some over here. Um, I really go through cycles. One week a month, I have a lot of acne. Um, I kind of blame it on the fact they don't have a hysterectomy. Maybe my body's still kind of going through some cycle that the T kills off um, as for, far as like hormonal cycles and stuff. Um, I mean, menstrual cycles. But uh, this is awesome, okay? Now, I know Eric, I don't know if he makes videos anymore, but Eric turned me on to panathetic acid, okay? Um, you, I see how it's from a nature store. You can only find this at like natural stores. No CBS, no Walgreens. No supermarket is going to carry this. Um, go to your natural um, food market or something. It's called panathetic acid. Acid. I take 500 milligrams a day. I started off taking 250. Um, uh, Eric said I could up it, so I upped it to 500. Now I just take one of these bad boys a day. This, honestly, between this and this, beautiful results, okay? Then I decided to do a little more research. And I found out that this is a vitamin B5, okay? Found out that vitamin B, or it's also called panathetic acid, which is also in here, panoxyl, panathetic, okay? Go together. Then I realized by taking this, a B complex, okay, has panathetic acid in it, okay? So now I have panathetic acid in here plus other good B vitamins, which help um, the whole thing that panathetic acid and vitamin B do is help redistribute chemicals throughout your body. So if you take other vitamins, vitamin B will help uh, your body absorb that better. Um, calcium, you drink milk, it helps your body absorb it. So when you inject testosterone, it stays in your muscles and it, it goes up and down and up and down, okay, um, being released. So this and a mixture of this help distribute that throughout your body. So pretty much, I guess somewhere along the line, it helps in your acne because, again, it's just oil in your body. It's just excess sweat, all this crap that's going around in your body. This will help um, distribute, and so will this. So for my acne, um, and you guys can look back on older videos. Last week, I didn't have any acne. I, I was actually looking really freaking good. Now I got acne over here. Um, actually, don't have any over here, but I have acne over here and right here, okay? Um... So I take panathetic, I mean, panoxyl, $8.99. Panathetic acid, this is, I believe, $9.99. But it has like 60 tablets. I take one a day, so that lasts me two months. And then I take this um, Super B Complex, 200 capsules. I get them, buy one, get one at um, Walgreens or CVS. This you can buy at CVS or Walgreens. Um, this you have to buy at a nature store. Uh, 
Yes, yeah, so that's how I do my acne. You've got to take your vitamins every day. If I don't take them for three days, I start to break out. I swear to you. I swear to you. This, every morning, every night, if I have a long day at work, um, I mean, if I have like a, I work in a kitchen, okay? So if I have a really sweaty, gross day at work, when I come home from work, I'll do it three times a day, okay? I'll do it in the afternoon and then again before I go to bed. That's what I do for acne. I'm telling you guys, it has had great results. Um, I swear to you, uh, like, for real. I, you know, nothing's going to make it perfect. Nothing's going to make it perfect. It's going to go away when it goes away. When your body decides it's old enough and all your hair's grown in and it says, you know what? You're freaking 37. Let's not have acne anymore and look like a 17-year-old. So this is the best combination I've found uh, to help me out with my acne. Again, as far as, like, putting tea on your face or putting Rogaine on your face, it's just going to inflame your acne. It's just going to, your acne, your face, your skin on your face is going to get pissed at you. And you're going to get a lot more acne. Um, and I definitely know with tea it will. Rogaine, the only thing I can tell you is that it's got to have moisturizers in it to um, help stimulate follicle, follicle, follicles, <laughs> follicles of hair on your skin. Okay. Um, it has to have some type of moisture to kind of moisture up, lather up your skin, get it going, okay? So the only thing I could say is that I really think that it would actually um, not benefit you in the fact of your acne. Uh, I do know guys who use Rogaine. I have not seen any extra special results. Um, I've just seen guys who naturally grow more hair than other guys. It's unfortunate, but it's true. Um, some guys, you know, naturally get a lot bulkier on tea, and some guys don't. Some guys gain weight on tea, some guys lose. So it really depends on your genetic buildup. Makeup buildup, sorry. Um, yeah, so that's, that's the best information I can give you as far as my personal knowledge on acne. Um, I really think that I... You know, I, I just feel like I, I know that this these three things together they work. I'm telling you, if you if you spend the eight ninety nine twenty, if you spend the thirty dollars on this, ten bucks each, about, I guarantee you got to give it a good month though. Okay, I guarantee in two two to four weeks you will see a result. You will. Um, my back has gotten so much. My back was nasty, guys. My back has gotten so much better from all this stuff. Um, you know, I, I'm just telling you, it really has. One thing, one trick, though, is I was using one of the poofy things. I don't know what these are called, but I was using one of these because I figured if I, like, get a, a, the extra skin and grossness away, it'll help. But it just irritated it more. Um, I noticed that when I just switched to just putting it on my hand and going like this, uh, it actually got a lot better. So I would stay away from those if you can. Um, yeah, so... Uh, Unfortunately, for growing hair, it is what it is, guys. Some guys grow it quick, and some guys don't. I mean, some guys start to lose their hair and get crazy, you know, uh, bad thingy-jigs, hairlines, and some guys don't, you know. It's unfortunate, but it's true. That's just how it works with tea. Um, you can't speed up any processes on tea. You just can't. All you can do is take more tea and kind of hurt yourself. Um, so, just letting you know, um, try to spread my knowledge. If anybody has any other advice as far as acne, please feel free to share it. I'm always looking for more advice. I think I have a good handle on it. But again, I still have these breakouts like once a month. Um, so, the only thing I can really say it maybe is from my cycle. But I say if you have any advice for me or any other guys watching, uh, please shoot it out there. Leave it in a comment. Make a video response, whatever. Um, as far as growing facial hair, hair, if anyone disagrees with me, I'm always willing to learn new stuff. So if you say Rogaine works like a motherfucker and doesn't give me any acne, awesome. The one thing that I will say about that, though, is um, if you're early on tea, give it a few months. Because when I was like eight and nine months on tea, I had some hair and I didn't have too much acne yet. And I was like, yeah, I'm not going to get acne. All those other guys got acne. I'm not going to get it. Um, I had a little bit of acne when I was uh, a teenager. Not crazy, though. Not as much as I do now. But um, I was like, yeah, I won't get acne. And next thing I know, I'm growing a freaking lot of hair, and I have a lot of acne. So um, just watch out for your year. Just warning you. Um, 
yeah, so I think that's all. I talked for like 15 minutes. I think you're sick of me by now. But uh, if anyone has any other advice, let me know. Otherwise, I hope I helped. If I did, let me know. Peace.